Good morning, my name is Pete and you're watching Ahead of the Curve. Very exciting morning this morning. It's almost seven o'clock here in Perth, Western Australia. It's the 12th of June. You might have just heard a big clank in the background and that's because I'm downloading the latest software update for my Tesla Model 3. This is 2020.20.13 and I'm, unless I'm mistaking, this is the update that's going to enable the car to auto stop at traffic lights and stop signs. So um, yeah, very excited, very excited to uh, try that out. We've had the previous update for a while now, maybe six to eight weeks or so where, oh, it's just turned the lights on by itself. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, so yeah, lo lots of things that happen with the car while it's in the process of updating. Um, so the previous update, um, the, the car would render traffic lights and would differentiate between red and, I'm not even sure if it did amber, but between red, red and green anyway, and it would render or show on the screen uh, stop signs and even things like rubbish bins and uh, which has had um, the lights have gone off again now Yeah, just uh, just monitoring to see what's happening with the car oh, lights are on again So it's obviously going through its process, but um, yeah if, uh, Not in the previous update, but for a while now Possibly I, I can't remember off the top of my head whether it was since um, last year since about Christmas last year but um, the car has been able to render witches hats or traffic cones for quite some time. And I think I've um, done some videos showing that. Um, but uh, yeah, we're about 50-60% um, of the way through. Um, I'll quickly turn the camera around and show you what it looks like on the screen if you like. So uh, I'm not sure if you can see that properly. Um, not the best cameraman, but um, there you go. So it's just a black screen um, showing the software update coming through. So it takes roughly about 20 minutes. Most of the software updates take about 20 minutes. So yeah, hopefully in about 10 minutes or so, I'll come back and um, show you what the car can and can't do. Can't wait. Okay, so I've come into Joonlup, which is in Perth's north, to try and find some traffic lights. Unfortunately, there's no traffic lights around where I live. Um, but um, yeah, so I found a set of lights here, which I'm just going to wait for a little while until they turn red. And hopefully there's no cars in front of us. Let's give it a try now. Uh, yes, perfect, okay. So going to try and engage, um, yeah, uh, cruise control. Oh, I had to disable it. Let's try it again now, see if it works. There we go, we're in cruise control and it's stopping by itself. See the red line there? Perfect. Now the light's green. It's asking me to confirm that the lights are green. So all I've done, oh, it's telling me to take control. So obviously going through the traffic lights, uh, you've just got to take control. But um, yeah, it's definitely stopping on the red light. Woo! <laughs> Very exciting. Okay, I'm going to put it into into um, autopilot just drop the speed down a bit to make sure that it's extra safe we've got a red light coming up there's no cars in front of us yep it's got the it's picking up the red line it's picking up the red lights beautiful I'm not touching the pedals perfect stop uh, if anything it's a little bit far back so the lines probably another meter meter and a half in front so um, I don't want to press the accelerator at the moment. See what it does. Yeah, so green lights you've, you've got to confirm that you want to go forward. So Okay, so we're coming up to some traffic lights again now. Uh, they've just gone orange, just gone red. And see if it picks it up. Beautiful. It's got the red line. Not touching anything. My feet and everything are off the... Oh, once again, it's probably about a meter and a half shy of the white line. So that, that must be how it's calibrated, where it stops a little bit further back. That said, the driver next to me, he's a good um, two or three meters back from the white line. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, you get that variability with, uh, obviously, human drivers. Okay, so no cars in front of us now. Red light. It's picking up the red line. Beautiful. And it's even picked up the motorbike driver. 
motorbike rider. Excellent. And once again, yeah, stuff probably about a metre half, maybe even two, would I say two metres? Yeah, so it's a little bit, for, for my comfort, I, I would want to be maybe another metre, a little bit further forward. So maybe half a metre or, you know, within a metre of the white line, just so you can have your nose in front and you can see traffic coming from both sides. So as you can see, it's rendering this car on the right of us um, and it's showing it pretty much sitting right on that um, red line. Uh, which which it isn't. Um, it's probably yeah probably about a foot in front of it. So it's got its nose almost. But I suppose from this angle it does look like it's almost above the line. But um, here we go. Green lights. Press the accelerator. There we go. So it's probably going to struggle because there's no lanes. So I know it did pretty well through that intersection, even though there was no lanes. Look, we are really putting. Um, autopilot through its paces here. It's an absolutely miserable um, day, winter's day here in Perth, um, 12th of June in the middle of winter. We had absolutely glorious weather for the last week or so prior to this. We had over 20 degree uh, temperatures, sunny days, it was beautiful, but um, weather has most definitely turned now. So. Now look, <laughs> this is, we've got barricades, concrete barricades on both sides here. Hopefully you can see all that in the camera. Got lots of stuff going on here. Quite a lot of, um, yeah, quite a, quite a lot of roadworks, a 40 kilometer sign. So we're going the right speed limit. That's good. Let me just drop it right down to 40. There we go. Wow. Now we've got a, I wonder how it's going to handle this. It's probably not going to handle it. There we go, so I've just taken over. So yeah, um, so it picks up and it renders, oh, look at this. Um, so <laughs> look at all these um, witches hats everywhere. Wow, um, let me just try and turn. We've got to be extra careful here because we are really taking autopilot to, to um, so I'm being extra, extra vigilant now, ready to take over, but I don't need to, it's, it's doing everything perfectly. Wow, this is, uh, this is really great. Look at all the traffic cones. Wow. Um, no, look, I'm really, really impressed. Um, I mean, you, you couldn't ask for more of a challenging environment. You've got roadworks, you've got concrete barricades, you've got signs everywhere, you've got traffic cones. Let's see if it takes this. Oh, beautiful, I didn't have to take over. Wow. Okay, that's so it was obviously using the lines on the right. So previously, so we're up to 70 now, so let me accelerate and let me just change lanes. So I've just pressed the indicator to get the car to change lanes by itself. And we're um, back onto a normal road here. Wow, that is uh, that is really interesting. So obviously that first time when there was the the, 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 the split there with the, with the witch's hats, it was going straight for the witch's hats because there was no lane markings going around those. So even though it's still ren rendering the, the witch's hats, it's not um, trying to go around them. Now, if I kept on going, I'm sure the auto brake would kick in and it would just slam on the brakes, but we don't, don't want to take it to, the, to, to that level just yet. Um, looks like another roundabout coming up, it is. So let's just see, third time lucky, see if it stops for this roundabout as well. Is it going to pick up the line? I mean, I'd be absolutely amazed if it does. I can't see it. Yes, it does. Whoa, how good is that? How good is that? Coming to a complete stop. There's a car coming past. Wow, that is awesome. Uh, I'm just gonna 